Hey guys, Kirk here from Acidbyte, and today I want to show you our burning paper tutorial. Now, the whole tutorial starts with the import process, which is very important in DaVinci Resolve. Um, the reason that in DaVinci in particular this is important is because DaVinci handles uh, alpha channels differently than other programs. So when you import the files, you have to make sure that you're doing it in the way I'm going to show you now. So we're going to start by making two bins. And what we're going to do is name them uh, mats and burning paper. Now you don't have to use those names, but I find it helps with organization. So that's what I'm going to do. So then we're going to go up here to the media storage viewer. And you're going to navigate to the folder where you have all the downloaded files that you got from us. And you want to select all of the burning paper files. And then right click and select add to media pool as mat. So now what we've done is imported the alpha data only of each one of these files into our mats folder. Now we're going to go to the burning paper folder and drag all the same clips and put them into there. And now you're going to see them as the actual MOVs that they are. All right, so next we want to go into our timeline. And you can see I already have mine here. I have my two shots that I want to transition between. And we're going to go into our burning papers folder and pick the file that we like. Um, in this case, I think I'm going to choose number 24. And then we're going to bring that file into the timeline. And you can see that I'm putting it on video layer 3. That's important because the next thing I'm going to do is take this clip, move it up to video layer 2, and then take both of those and overlap them on top of the second cut in my sequence. And the structure of this is important. You want to have your first cut on top of your second cut, overlapping it. And then we're going to make an edit uh, on the first cut right here at the start of the MOV of the burning paper. Um, it is possible to do this transition successfully without making this cut here in your first video clip, but I think it makes it a lot easier for you. So we're going to start from here. Now we are going to select our burning paper file. We are going to go up to our inspector window and change the composite mode to screen. And once you've changed the composite mode to screen, you're going to see that the files become mostly transparent and you just have the fire sitting on top of your video clip. So then we're going to jump over here to the color tab and we're going to go and select the second clip here. And this is the part of our first video clip that we made that little edit on and we cut it out so that you know we can access it individually here. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to go down to add mat and in timeline mats we're going to see all of those uh, burning paper clips that we imported as alpha only information earlier. So of course I'm going to choose number 24 and that's going to add that here. And what I want to do is connect this top right little blue box. I want to drag out from here, but I don't actually have anywhere to connect it yet. So I'm going to right click and select add alpha output. Now I can take that dotted line and connect it all the way over here to this blue box. And you'll see that it instantly has an effect on your timeline. Now from here it can get a little tricky. What we're going to do is select our external mat. We're going to go to the key tab here and I'm going to uncheck loop and uh, lock uh, mat and that's going to give us access to all of these settings now. Okay so then with our external mat selected um, under corrector one I'm going to turn on the external mat so that I can start making keyframes and after that we have to adjust the offset. Now when you're adjusting the offset you're looking for the first frame of the fire uh, transition to start and it's pretty easy to do that because it'll be right after you have the fully white screen here so if I pull it a little okay now I have this first little bit of fire showing through and that's gonna be our first frame so I'm gonna leave it at negative 71 so then we're gonna drag our playhead to the end here just before the end of the transition you can see there's just a bit of fire left and we're gonna go back to the offset and we want to find the end of this transition right before the screen goes white. This will be our last frame. And that's basically it guys. I mean if you go back to the editing tab and play through, you can see that I mean you've made the transition already. Um, if you want to increase the intensity of the fire in this transition you can actually click on your burning paper layer here and duplicate it. And if you 
turn that on and off, you can see that it's basically doubling the intensity of the fire. Um, along with that, we have the ability to tweak the color of the fire. Uh, we can jump over here into the color tab, click the, make sure the fire layer is selected. And then from here, you can just start playing around with your hue and saturation levels. And if you have sort of super colorful footage like we do here, you can play with it and um, make it match your timeline better. Uh, we even have the ability to change the speed of this transition. If we just right click the file, go up to uh, change clip speed, we can choose something like 200%. Okay, hit change. And then what you need to do quickly is realign the uh, the way that your files are overlaid here so that they line up with the new shorter length of your fire MOV, right? But then we also will need to redo the, the whole offset situation. So we're going to come and clear, clear out all the previous keyframes, delete the ones that we've made, and go back and make new ones again at the start of the first frame of the fire transition, uh, right after the fully white frame. And then drag your playhead to the end, find, using the offset, find the last frame before it goes white. So here, okay, and it's gonna automatically make your keyframe. And then boom, you're gonna have the transition back at 200% speed. And yeah, that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for downloading. Uh, have fun with your transitions. See you next time.